everyone! Today's video, I'm going to be giving you a tour of my craft room and also sharing some of my organization tips and tricks. I'm going to do today's video differently. It's not going to be a decorate with me. I've been very busy over the last few days just trying to clear out all of my daughter's decor and trying to move a lot of mine in, you know, just trying to get it how I wanted it for my craft room. And I'm going to show you guys how I organize all of my craft supplies. And I also have, I'm also going to demonstrate how I do a little bit of my organizing. So just a little bit of a different video today, but I really hope you guys like it and it's gonna be a different room in my house that you guys have never seen. So, you ready to go see it? All right, let's go. Welcome to my craft room. Now I'll go ahead and just give you guys a tour. So as I said in my last video, I had a futon in here for the kids just so that they could have, you know, something nice and soft to sit on. And I didn't want anything really fancy because, you know, kids can be very messy. So, and this also adds an extra space for sleepovers when my daughter has sleepovers so it just comes in really handy and all the pillows that you see on my futon i bought them all at walmart and i just really like those colors and they tie in really nice with the new curtains that i bought and i'll just kind of show you guys a close up and i really loved this it says my happy place and i usually like i told you guys don't go for um like the writing on stuff but I just thought this is going to be so perfect for in my craft room and here's what I have above the futon and this shelf it's still left in here from my daughter's uh, playroom but I thought it's going to work for now just until I find a different shelf and I'm sorry about the glare from my light up above in my light ring but this is the picture let me see if I can get a better shot here that I shared with you guys in my last haul video that I bought especially for in my craft room. And on the shelf I have some boxwood floral or just some boxwood uh, greenery, I'm sorry. And I added in some other greenery and I have this little bike and I just, I've had this for a while and I think it's so cute. And I thought it would be a nice touch to add to the shelf. And I have another boxwood greenery and a little bit of extra greenery there. Then on this side of the futon, now I did keep up a lot of the artwork that my daughter has done over the years because this is a craft room so it just makes sense to keep a lot of her artwork up. And I'll just show you here. These are very old. She did these whenever she was I believe two and three and they're so cute then on this bookshelf I have our DVD collection and I just have a gardening book and two other older books um, to use as a riser for a daisy plant that I have there it's a faux plant but I love daisies they're my favorite flower and I have a lamp and I have a couple little succulents. Then over here, I did keep my wrapping paper out. It's too high to fit in my closet. Um, and I figure, you know what? It's a craft room that can be out. So I did just choose to leave it there and it would be nice if I could stow it away somewhere, but like I said, it's a craft room, so it fits fine to let it out. And these are the curtains that I just bought, and I love the color. They're almost like a salmon color. They're just so pretty, and I hope that there's not too much of a glare. And this is my one workstation. Let me see if I can get out of the glare here a little bit. There we go. That's better. So this is my one workstation, and after I give you guys the tour, I will definitely show you guys how I organized this. And this was actually my dad's, and after my dad passed away, I got it from my mom. And over here, 
Let me see if I can get out of the glare again. Uh, so this is another little piece that I use to organize with. And I'll also be sharing what I do with that. And on the top, I just have some paintbrushes, a radio, because I do like to listen to music whenever I'm uh, crafting. And I don't always just listen to music on my phone. I like to listen to CDs, too. Yeah, CDs. I still listen to some CDs, guys. And I have a fan. And also, this is how I have this little shelf decorated. And that's the picture that I shared in my last haul. And I just thought this was so precious. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul. And because I love daisies, I wanted to incorporate some more daisies on this shelf. And I also added a couple of those cute little birds that I found from Hobby Lobby. And a couple little eggs on a nest. And I just think that turned out so sweet. And then, let's see here over at the other side. There's another look at that. And of course, I did use my tassels on my curtains because I love the tassels, you guys. So then, over on this side, and I hope I don't get too much of a glare from my light ring because I'm right in front of it right now. But I have a desk, and this is where I work and do my video editing at. And this desk is very old. It was actually my grandma's. And I've thought different times over the years about painting it. And I even asked my daughter at one point if she wanted me to paint it for in her room. And we just both decided, let it like it is. So that's how it's staying. And I have another little... Uh, daisy flower right here and I have just my little holder for you know different little items and I have a picture of my daughter and my husband whenever my daughter was very young and here are some more pictures and artwork that my daughter has done over the years and I just love displaying her artwork she's so talented and she really enjoys seeing it too and over here, I have a flower holder. And this is just a faux greenery plant that I purchased from Walmart. And then up here, this is a real functioning cuckoo clock from Germany. And I have it turned off right now because I don't want all the background noise. But I've had this quite a long time. My husband got it for me shortly after we were married. And this is my closet in my craft room. And yes, I'm definitely gonna show you guys how I organize my closet. And that beside it on the right is another framed artwork that my daughter did. This was one of the most recent ones. Um, and it was actually, she had to do a self portrait of herself just using all of these different little shapes. And I apologize, there's a glare, but I'm just gonna try to just show you a little bit but I just think she did such a wonderful job now I'm going to show you guys how I like to organize and hopefully there's going to be some things that I show you that maybe you haven't tried yet and it can inspire you to maybe try it in your home and I love organizing I love watching other videos about organization and I have learned a very long time ago to really be able to pack things well because our parents both live in another state and whenever we go to visit, I love to go shopping with my mom and my mother-in-law and we'll go thrifting so we would only have our vehicle so I would have to make sure that whatever I bought had to be able to come home with me because there was no way I was leaving my stuff that I just bought back there and not being able to use it. So I learned a very long time ago how to be a very good packer. And I tell you, my family is always amazed at the amount of stuff that I can pack into a vehicle. I should actually share that sometime because it is crazy. And whenever we travel, I'm always one of those ones that packs way too much. But 
I always get it. I always get it all in the vehicle and everything that I always buy always manages to come home with me. So now I'll go ahead and show you guys how I organize. And here's my closet and I'll give you a look over the whole thing and then I'll get in closer and really show you guys how I organize and tell you guys what's in everything. And then I'll also demonstrate how I organize an item. So my top shelf is basically a lot of my sewing items and yep, that's something new that you guys didn't know. I love to sew, but unfortunately I haven't sewed in quite a while, but I really do enjoy it. So this container here is all of my quilted fabric because I always loved making like the bags, purses, loved it. And here is all of my uh, bobbins and my threads are stacked back there. Let me see if I can show you here a little bit closer. But here we go. Threads are stacked in these nice little containers and that just makes it so nice because they're not just all laying around. And these are other sewing items um, that I use for on the bags. And just some appliques and different ribbons in some of these other containers. And I love the see-through containers, you guys, because then you can see kind of like which container you might need. And here is embroidered, this is my uh, serger, and also this is embroidery flosses. Uh, I use embroidery flosses for different crafts. I have cross-stitched in the past, but I haven't done it in a very long time. I just kind of really lost interest in it fast. Um, but I still use the embroidery floss for other crafts that I do. And this container here is what I keep all of my patterns in. And this was one of the bags that I loved making. And in the, these bags here, I keep like my stuffing and all of my, um, my matting. So that's where all of that is. And here is some more extra serger threads. And you probably see these wreaths. This is where I hang my wreaths that I still have to work on. Um, just so they're out of my way and they're not getting dusty. So I just keep those there and actually have another one over here on this side. And it's a Halloween one. And this actually, it's funny. Um, have you guys ever done the Michaels $5 mystery box? That was actually in the $5 mystery box. And oh my goodness, I can't wait to decorate it this year. Um, my daughter and I bought one. We actually had an opportunity to get one because every time we would check, they didn't have any. And this one time I was in there, they actually had it. And we bought one and it had so much Halloween stuff in it. So it was really awesome. And you're probably looking at this. This, yeah, that's hot glue. And what I do is use this to rest my hot glue gun on because my one, it doesn't have a stand, an easel. My one does, but my little one doesn't. And a lot of the time I can't get this off, but that's okay because it's, it's for crafting. It doesn't have to look pretty. So now I'll show you this shell. And this shell also has a lot of my crafting supplies, as you can see. And some of this stuff back in here is, um, items like that I used for my daughter's one birthday party that we had. And here is some more party supplies. This is my balloon buddy. And if you've never used one of these, these are awesome because I actually have made the balloon garlands. And oh my gosh, guys, these are awesome. And this is extra streamer and balloons. And here's, um, beaded necklaces because at one point I had a uh, black light party for my daughter and that was so much fun. The guys had a blast. And this is extra vases. And here, this is my daughter likes to make the bath bombs. So we keep her bath bomb equipment in there or 
her necessities that she needs for making the bath bombs. And this is a bunch of just different crafting supplies that I have for like making uh, napkin rings and different items. And back in here is some jewelry making supplies and also just some other um, things that I use for crafting. And of course, my daughter's um, stickers that she likes to use for different projects and stuff that she's doing. And this is where I keep my glue guns and some different glitters that I use. And then onto my next shelf. Both of these are some of my faux floral. I have more faux floral down in my basement, you guys. But this is where I keep a lot of my faux floral that I use regularly and also down here. And as you can see, some of it is just laying there. It needs put away. And that's how I'm going to share with you guys how I exactly do uh, organize my faux floral. And here is some more crafting supplies. I have my mosses and my raffia. And have you guys, I'm sure probably a lot of you, if you bought a cake or maybe had like deli subs from Walmart or a different grocery store, these containers are awesome to save. They make great storage containers, you guys. And the foam, I after you open it, like if you buy it like in a pack, a lot of times it's just so messy. And Instead of putting it in a bag, I like to still be able to see it. So these containers are great. And I actually have a lot of these in my basement that I will put like the Christmas picks or the fall picks, like the floral picks that we like to decorate with. They are amazing to store those in or even ornaments. And you can also see what's inside. So it is perfect. And here I have paintable ornaments, and there's some uh, little craft items that my daughter and I haven't finished working on yet. And I have my foam balls, and I also have two more of my sewing machines back in this corner. I have two sewing machines, and my daughter has one. And there is another sewing machine there. And those are some pillow, um, those are just some um, pillows that I can make uh, uh, covers for, So, but I haven't had a chance to do that yet. And this is where I keep pillow forms. That's the word I couldn't come up with. But this is all of my fabric, and it's just so nice because, you know, I can just pull the drawers out and grab the fabric that I want. And this is more of my floral, you guys. So, I have so much floral, and like I said, I still have more. So, I'm going to show you guys how I like to organize my floral. And this is just one of those really nice, um, long, flat containers. And these are also really nice for wrapping paper. Wrapping paper is another great thing for these. These are awesome, you guys. I love the containers. And I'm just going to take my floral here that I'm not using right now. And all I do is I just lay it really nicely in here. And what I do sometimes too is if I have, um, like maybe I have like a couple different seasons of floral that I wanna organize in the same tote because I don't have enough um, floral of the same season for just to fill one, I'll just put like a bag or um, tissue paper to separate them and then that just really makes it nice because then I can use it for two different seasons and I'm just gonna stick the rest in here and this way it helps to really keep them from getting smushed and you don't want to overfill it because they will get smushed um, and it also keeps them from getting dusty keeps them nice and clean and I have some more here. And I have these 
pretty ones that I haven't even had a chance to use yet. I have these beautiful lilies and my lilies haven't even opened yet they won't open uh, at least for probably about another month maybe month and a half ours usually are in the summer before they open and bloom and actually before I put those in I want to put my lavender in and I'm just gonna bend the bottoms just a little bit just kind of those like that I'm just going to put them right here. And I'm just going to stack this on top of my other crates. And I'll just smooth these out here. And these are just a lot of um, the Christmas picks. And here are some more of the Christmas picks. I have so many Christmas picks, you guys. And this is just a lot of other floral that I use regularly. And there you go. And I'll show you how I organize this workspace of mine. And I already shared that that's my wrapping paper. There's also gift bags. And what I do with my gift bags, and this is only for like others, these aren't even my extra Christmas gift bags. These are all of my like birthday and there's some, um, I'm not sure exactly what all's in here. Oh, all occasion and Christmas. Oh, there are some Christmas, I'm sorry. I thought most of my Christmas were downstairs. But um, what I do is I just make like these little tags out of an old cardboard box that I had and just made dividers so that it would be nice and easy to find whatever holiday or occasion I was looking for. So they weren't all kind of like together, like as far as mixed up. So this is just a really great way that you can organize your gift bags. Because if you're like me, these are too expensive to just throw them away. So it's really nice to reuse them. And for this drawer here, what I have is these are my tissue papers, you guys. And this paper here is like the paper that you get when something might be wrapped or wrapped it, whenever something might be wrapped from Goodwill or a consignment shop. And this is really nice if I want to wrap something delicate that I'm going to be packing away for a while. And I also use this for crafting, like to protect the surface. So it's just nice and easy to have it here. I can just grab a piece whenever I need it. And these are extra tiny little gift boxes that I have. Some of them are jewelry boxes and some of them are just plain um, little boxes with lids. And here are some more just little all occasion tiny gift bags. And under here is just where I keep my gift card boxes. So that's just a great way to kind of organize that stuff. And then down here is where I keep all of my crafting ribbon. And this is just a nice area to have these. And these are all organized by Holiday and Keller. So I know it's probably better to have them on a dowel, but I love that idea. But I just don't want them to get faded from the light. And I don't want them to get dirty because I don't really use ribbon a lot of time. Usually I use ribbon at holidays. So this just keeps them nice and clean. And then in here, this is where I keep all of my ribbon and my bows. So here are the curling ribbons. And this is all of my uh, wrapping paper bows. And here is crayons that are still left from my daughter, but still once in a while she needs crayons. And this container here holds all of my um, markers and crafting scissors. And we have some construction paper here 
And this is where I keep um, like my uh, some of my card stock, not all of it. I have some here. And this is also where I keep my acetate sheets. And oh, that's another thing I wanted to point out to you guys. So my, my ribbon, you know, I don't like to um, tape it like once you've taken the plastic off here because you know how sometimes it just gets torn or you throw it away. What I like to do to uh, keep mine contained is just use a little straight pin um, from like sewing. I don't like to tape it because a lot of times if you don't use it right away, it's going to get that stickiness. So I don't like having my ribbon getting all sticky. But another thing that I wanted to point out to you guys is if you have any of the acetate sheets and maybe you don't want to put a pin on it either, you can just take a little of the acetate and you can make like a little piece of this stuff. So just to kind of keep your ribbon contained and looking nice and neat so it's not just curling all over the place. And I'll show you guys how I have this area organized. So on this one shelf I have older crafting books and a lot of them are the gooseberry patch. I don't know if any of you are familiar with gooseberry patch. And down below this is where I keep most of my paint and I have a couple cans of my spray paint that I use back in there. And this side is pretty much still my daughter's um, crafting items so I won't show you that side but I will show you what I have in these. And let's see, this one I believe is just some glue. I have a big uh, container of the Elmers and my spray adhesive. And my daughter is the one that uses the majority of the Elmers glue. Uh, her and her friends actually still like to make slime. It's like, really? You still enjoy that? But she does, she loves it. And here is where I keep like my um, my twines and I have uh, some little glass jars in here. These are these were actually from Honey, and they have the little cork tops. But I thought that they could really make some cute little craft. And I have um, some little wood pieces down in here because my daughter likes to use like the um, the wood burner. So we have some of that down in there. And yeah, this is just basically a lot of twine and these are little burlap pieces. And you guys, if you saw my Easter tablescape, some of these are the pieces of burlap that I used on my table. And down in this one, these are my bigger ribbons um, that I didn't put in my uh, other drawer that I just shared with you guys. So these are really nice for holding craft supplies. Well that's it for my video today guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a great big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so that you're always sure to be notified whenever I post a new video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!